Basically, if you're not seeing the films that you want to see, you've got to go out and make them yourself. And I just had this idea and it just kind of like, when it lands, you kind of, you, you live with it for a little while and see whether it's something that you could actually do and something that you could actually shoot. Okay, I think in that one you delivered a line. It must have come from uh, just a load of uh, research that I was doing about uh, crime. I was writing a couple of feature films at the time and um, I really wanted to do a period piece and that era kind of 1981 with all the kind of like the Brixton riots and so on, the sus law, it was quite an interesting period visually also. When a man or a woman starts reading books in their life, it could happen at any age, like, like part post-teen, uh, it does change their life uh, if they're reading the right books and you know and if that happens inside prison then you know the, some of the greatest moments might be happening inside someone's mind in reality i had to build a prison cell because we went to visit a, a load of cells and they are far too small and just not practical to shoot in so you can take walls off and stuff like that and you can uh you can really kind of you know, not be limited in, in, in your shot. First of all, I always start with a network, uh, the people that I know. I'm telling them I'm making a film and that's it. You know, uh, do you know anyone that might be uh, willing to invest? Where's the other screws when I walk in? Everyone's always got an opinion, you never know how people are going to receive you, but you know, this is all part of that journey, that people are just going to, you know, tear your work down, build it up, say it's good, say it's night, you know, whatever, um, but you just got to keep making it. I hope I've done this particular genre, period, whatever, justice, and this story justice.